Hi guys and welcome back to Car Focus. Today we are out in the Focus ST again and I know I did a, a first drive video last time but I think we need to kind of find out if this car is actually fun and what it's like on a bit of a back road, how does it handle, what's the steering like, the brakes, you know, just the general feel of the car when sort of pushing on and wanting to have a bit of fun. And with a, with a car like the Focus ST, you buy it, you know, for the all round ability of the thing. So, you know, a bit of practicality and a bit of fun. And for me, it's quite an important thing um, for a car to have. So it's very windy today, but it is sunny, it's dry. I'm gonna have traction control off and we're gonna put the car through its paces a little bit and just talk about how it feels, what it could do with to make it better. Um, you know, the good things about the car, the bad things about the car etc etc now before we start i just want to you know in the car's defense we are running some budget tires at the minute so we've got some cheap and cheerful road cruiser tires on i've never heard of them before but that's what it's got all around the same tires all around i haven't changed them because they're pretty much brand new so i don't really want to take a brand new pair of tires off to stick some michelins on just yet i'll let these wear down a bit and then we'll look at changing tires in the future so it's not going to be as good as what it could be it's also 13 years old the car and the suspension is all original so probably a bit sloppy now compared to what it used to be like back in the day but overall um yeah it's pretty much a standard car of you know budget tires and oh we've also changed the brakes as well changed the brakes very recently a couple of weeks ago discs and pads all around we've got some comline aftermarket oe quality brakes on the car um they're okay not amazing but we also had a brake fluid change as well when it was at fjrs um a couple of months ago so anyway let's get the gopros on um and let's hit the road and see exactly what it's like right so let's pull out of here and let's hit the road just see what this car is like to drive when you're pushing on a bit so straight away i don't know if you remember last time we said about the power delivery if you want to drive this car fast you've got to really nail the throttle and at about 5,000 revs it really does the boost kicks up and it really does take off and go you've just got to learn how the car works so once you've done that you can exploit where the power is so on the brakes, they don't feel like immediately responsive. You've really got to kind of uh, push the pedal down to get the maximum feel out the brakes. They're not too kind of grabby. So out this corner here, third gear, nail the throttle, and then as you're exiting the corner, the boost will kick in and it will go. In relation to sort of turning, the steering is actually, it's quite quick. And there we go. That does sound good. Oh, and there's the, the fuel light that's come on. Uh, yeah, the steering's actually quite quick. Um, it's quite responsive. I thought it might be a bit sloppier than it actually is, but it's pretty sharp. It's quite good, and I don't have it in the sport steering mode because I don't like the artificial weight to it, so I just have it in the normal mode, so it is quite light. In terms of feedback, you don't get massive amounts of feedback through the steering wheel, but I imagine there's probably you know, bushings and stuff that could be replaced that would increase the amount of feedback you get but the steering feel overall is actually pretty good for a 13 year old car so fifth gear foot down little pop from the exhaust probably didn't hear that but yeah it is quite nice having the um, having the low down torque because you can kind of charge around almost effortlessly on these kind of roads if you don't want to go too fast out the corner here so first gear oh it's actually it's actually getting traction all right when it's slightly greasy these tires can be lethal it's, it's wheel spinning sort of first second third and then sometimes even fourth these tires do not like wet weather <laughs> but yeah this car it is pretty quick now I'm kind of, now I'm used to how to drive the thing. You can really fly down the road. It is, it is probably a little bit quicker than what I thought it was going to be. I actually did manage to keep up with a Mark III ST, a pre-facelift petrol ST. We both accelerated and I was actually hanging on quite nicely. So down through the gears, we've got a nice right hander here. We'll tuck the nose in. So you can feel the lack of diff if you're kind of accelerating on the way out the corner, you can feel the car, not like the RS where it kind of slings itself around the corner. 
this struggles a bit more. It's kind of scrabbling and almost, you can feel it wanting to understeer slightly. I feel with more power, that would be more of an issue as well. So we'll go third gear again. So third gear is a nice gear because it's not too brutal. That's it, nail the throttle and then off we go. You can hear the turbo spool, bit of torque steer. Yeah, very good. One um, big thing that I'd change on this car is the throw of the gearbox. It's very long. It could really do with a short shifter. Um, if you want to rattle through the gears really quickly, the throw is too long, to be honest. So I don't know whether I get a short shifter or not. I might do. It will make the driving experience that bit better. But yeah, it's just... If you want to rattle through the gears, it's yeah, hindering you a little bit. So the suspension, it does feel a bit floaty. It could do with stiffening up a little bit. It could do with dropping a little bit. So maybe just some eye backs just to sort that out. But yeah, it does feel a bit floaty. She does go. And over the bumps, it's a bit warm, warm, warm. You know, it's, uh, I don't have a, a huge amount of confidence in it if I was going fast on a bumpy road. You could feel it kind of just getting itself unsettled a bit. Let's have another go. Let's give it a little bit more out of the corner this time. So yeah, the way it's mapped, like I say, it's not too brutal on initial acceleration, which actually does the car a favor because minus the diff and kind of revo knuckle and that kind of thing, it does, it doesn't fully awaken until you exit the corner when, and that's when you want it. So it does make the car quite controllable. If you were, if you were full on boost as you're exiting the corner or mid corner on the way out, it would get a bit, get a bit dangerous, I think, without a diff anyway. But overall guys, you can slingshot yourself down a road nicely. I've this, you know, I've got no major complaints with it. I mean, yeah, you could, you could make, put better brakes on it. And if you wanted to go on a track day, it's probably gonna feel very woolly on a track day, but for an all-round car on a road that you can then uh, head out to the shops with your family and in relative comfort, it's a bit of a jack of all trades, really. And it sounds lovely, doesn't it? You do feel the power dropping off from about 6,000 revs. It's probably due to the smaller turbo, but the power does start, it does start to feel a bit, a bit suffocated at the top end of the revs. But you've got a nice amount of mid-range power. Yeah, from like four and a half, five thousand up to about six and a half. You've got a nice, a nice power band there. We're boosting up just over halfway on the gauge as well. So as soon as it gets to that stage, on this um, base map, it's that's standard power. So you're not going to get any more than that. But you do notice when the boost kicks in, and you hear the turbo spool as well. So yeah, the brake, these brakes, they could do with being a bit better. I imagine they fade. I imagine the fade's quite bad as well when you're really giving them some stick. So we've got a bit of a greasy bit of road here. Uh, I don't want to go too hard. But yeah, it does change direction quite quickly, which I was a bit, you know, surprised about with the steering. It does feel quite positive. Pardon me. So yeah, guys, I don't think I need to go into too much more with this. You've got a bit of a um, a bit of an idea as to how this car handles, what it's like to push on. I think it's good fun. I, I think it's it's really good fun. And like I say, with a short shifter, um, slightly better suspension setup, I'd probably just go for I back. Say we're Ford approved, um, it would just give it a bit of a OEM plus sort of feel. Just stiffen it up a little bit, a bit less body body roll into the corners. Yeah, so those, maybe some, uh, you know, a better set of uh, pads. Maybe upgrade the discs as well. But I'm just going to spin around here. I think it'll be a pretty sorted car. And then you can look into, yeah, if you want to go for a limited slip differential, maybe RS running gear, you know, then you start to spend quite a bit more money on it. And it kind of, I don't know, it defeats the object of having a car like this. Because for me, it's kind of cheap and cheerful fun, isn't it? But yeah. 
and we've got the D-Res on this and I'm, I'm happy with the sound and now a cat back exhaust yeah maybe but again it's unnecessary money isn't it when I've already got you know I've got a cheap mod done a D-Res and it sounds sweet as it is so yeah but yeah that's it guys hope you enjoyed it just a quick thrash on a back road just to see what it's like um, in terms of feel and fun and stuff but yeah it's done pretty well anyway guys until the next video as always take care and I shall see you soon